Silver. It's Monday, the 1st of November, 2021, at 10.03 a.m. GMT plus one. The weather today, gusty, blowy, but sunny. Yes, we have taken a three-day break in the far west of Wales. It's taken quite a few hours to get here, and we are basically on the coast. And because of this, we're using a laptop with a relatively poor microphone, and we don't have all of the tools that we have on our desktop computer. So if the sound is not great, we apologize in advance, and this video will be much quicker than usual. Hopefully, to make up for that, we plan on doing a second video later today. What is, at the moment, blustering the news? Well, we can see Jess Staley to step down as Barclays CEO amid Epstein probe. Yes, indeed, the boss of Barclays Bank could be, could be involved with Epstein. And as a result, he has stood down. Who else, one must ask, has some form of attachment with this former paedophile? Credit Suisse has chance this week to move past year of scandals. The lender is trying to map out its future direction after the Archegos and Greensill scandals. Russia's dirty gas is keeping Europe from freezing over, would you believe? And COVID deaths top 5 million, even as vaccines slash fatality rate. Now, on Reuters, it's all about the global climate. And the talks are opening, and it says amongst a challenge. World leaders began arriving on Monday at a United Nations conference critical to averting the most disastrous effects of climate change. Their challenge made even more daunting by the failure of major industrial nations to agree ambitious new commitments. BBC. What have we got here? Climate. Now, we've noticed that our screensaver has blotted out a little bit of the headline, but at least you can see the majority of it here. Climate at one minute to midnight, says Johnson as world leaders gather for the COP26 in Glasgow, Prime Minister Boris Johnson says action is needed. Reiteration of the Barclays boss stepping down over the Epstein inquiry and investigation of several hurt and train crash. It's all about climate today. We can see that is happening. In the United States, Biden, we were clumsy over France submarine row. Baldwin speaks out about one in a trillion shooting and Prince Andrew asks the US court to dismiss his case. Well, what we can't dismiss is what's happening financially and the US dollar is now above 94 and holding at 94.14. Energy prices are actually marginally up about half a dollar not good news for those of us at the pumps and looking at the equity markets. And we completed this in our weekly update. The American markets, the three main bourses were up overnight. Asia Pacific generally up 2%, except for the Hang Seng, which is down almost 1%. But in Europe and the Middle East and Africa, particularly Europe and UK, we can see that the markets are up close to 1%. Now, what's important today is that we have economic news in the United States coming out, a lot of it this week. And today we have the final market manufacturing PMIs and the ISM manufacturing index plus construction spending. Gold prices marginally up this morning, nearly $2 at $17.86. Silver prices down seven cents at $23.86. And we've already in our update, advise you on what we think or where we think prices are going. Crypto market rising this morning, and we have a market cap of 2.65 trillion, up 2%. That's it. Have a great day. We're being kicked out of our hotel so they can clean the room. 
and we shall be back later this evening. Illuminati silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners. Thank <laughs> you.